Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this video is going to be a short review on the new Tier 9 Premium Tank, the first one in the game for the PC version. It's the Swedish Heavy Tank, uh, the Strixwagen K. Uh, just to follow up on the video yesterday on the marathon. Um, so it's a Centurion 71 turret on top of an ML2. Um, chassis. Uh, what can we tell you about it? So, um, first of all, the gun is a 105 millimeter. It's based on the um, L7 gun. Uh, the standard round is armor piercing uh, with a penetration of 252 and an average damage of four actually 390 and the premium round um, gets you up to 310 millimeters of penetration which is not bad for a tier 9 um, can basically make you competitive with tier 10s um, about the same average damage and then there's an HE shell there with pen of um, 53 which would let you shoot into the roof of uh, most tanks or the engine deck um, to, in terms of penetration, and that will give you yeah, higher damage there. Um, I'll just explain yeah, how we've fitted this out. Um, so we've put vents in the um, first slot because that's the only real option there to um, obtain the bonus. Gun rammer, you can see the um, gun loading time is just under 10 seconds. So obviously we've got food, vents, and gun rammer and brothers in arms so that brings it down to just under nine and a half seconds and then we put vertical stabilizer on there as well because you can and that's what you should do when you've got a moving tank um, crew skills um, picked a bunch of recruits from the mooney event which was lucky they got three skills so we managed to fit them out quickly so you can see we've got brothers in arms on all of them the commander came with um six cents already and uh, so we added the recon and then um, repairs, which is the one in progress. The gunner gave them a snapshot and dead eye and then repairs. Drivers got a smooth ride and clutch braking and then off-road driving. And the radio operators got situational awareness uh, and repairs and we're going on to firefighting and that's because we're running food. Um, Although we didn't really have an issue with, with fire, so that's a good thing, you, but you could run a directive for that. And then we've got the um, uh, the loader who's got brothers in arms, of course, uh, but adrenaline rush in case you can speed up your reloading time when you're down to 10% of your health and then safe stowage. Um, and that was basically taken from Century and 71 crew type, so that was my choice there. Um, then we're running food as you can see and consumables and oh, sorry and large repair kit and medical kit so you can see the firepower side so 390 damage um, gets you to 2.4k of dpm which is sort of average for for the tier but dispersion 0 0 0.3 so it started off as around 0 0.34 and aiming time that's the main concern here so we've got it to 2.4 just under 2.2 seconds and that's with all those improvements so it would have been um, yeah close to three seconds aiming time without those um, additions. Uh, 1850 base hit points, the hull armour not so strong, 90 on the front, uh, 70 on the sides and 37 on the rear, it's not really special, um, pretty easy pen um, from tier 8s upwards and then the front turret 254 so that's the strength part and of course it goes along with 10 degrees of gun depression so you can run on hilltops take advantage of that uh, but then the sides and the rear of the turret is 89 so pretty much easily penned uh, there uh, then mobility you get a um, decent uh, top speed 40 kilometers per hour for a heavy tank and 18 kilometers per hour in reverse so that makes it fairly nimble in that respect um, it's only got a weight of 40 tons but the corresponding engine power 670 is, is low but specific 
power of 16 gives you a reasonable acceleration and traverse speed of 37 degrees and of course that's with clutch braking uh, concealment obviously not a big concern but um, spotting distance decent uh, view range but again we're running food ventilation brothers in arms school and recon and situational awareness to get to that 465 so it gives you a decent chance to get some assisted damage and we'll see a bit of that in the re uh, gameplay that will come up now so all in all um, just to give it a, a brief summary uh, pretty average tank I guess uh, it's not overpowered at all it's not typically underpowered it's probably its main um, characteristic is uh, to be a support supporting heavy tank so second line tank and um, yeah so you're not really rewarded for pushing <laughs> pushing up and you really don't have the armor to, to do that so uh, we'll just show you in the gameplay what the outcome is uh, from this and we'll go into that gameplay now okay uh, this battles on the Malinovka map and um, it's a tier 8 to tier 10 game so four tier 10s on each side and the rest are uh, tier 9s and tier 8s see how they have got but equal amounts of standard and some premium rounds and we're just heading to this side of the map to basically see if we can get some lights from the tanks coming down the side this is here 63 medium and a Del T432 Looks like he's taking a um, passive spotting spotting mill. Managed to get a hit there on the um, TPP. Let me see, there's the TN9 check heavy tank there. And as well as um, any 100. So, so definitely got some heavy tanks down this end, the T10 ones that we don't really want to get in front of. Trying to get a hold down position here using our 10 degrees of gun depression, but you can see this position is just a bit too um, too sharp an angle to really take advantage of that. But uh, we are well behind a bush and shooting at just red outline, so there's no chance we're going to get spotted here. You can see here's the nine and a half second relay at work. We have to track that um, TNH right across there, and. Uh, Luckily for the g -saw, he gets an ammo rack out of it and a nice 1200 hit points of damage. That's a good for him. But just want to get a standard uh, damage there. Alright, so C63 there and the LT432 spotting. It's a little bit static at the moment. Um, yeah, it seems to be a replay bug there. So definitely we're aiming at the. Um, at the bushes on the other side of the map uh, and did a blind fire there but uh, yeah, for some reason it's showing the turret pointing in a different direction it's a bit disconcerting when you're watching the replay but we're just waiting for this teenage to make a mistake or someone okay here we go t95 trundling down the map towards the, that corner going to keep our premium rounds loaded for this well partly for the pen but also for the um the shell velocity 1300 meters per second put in a hopeful shot there on the commander's hatch but um we just got a red outline so aiming opportunity not too great and we're putting some blind shots in there but um yeah we won't see till after the uh, game whether they've packed side shots here, get one in on the um, side of the E100, could have possibly used a standard round for that but again we're, we're going for short velocity here as well to get a um, shorter lead as possible and uh, it's not that we're unhappy with the pen of course but they do cost a little bit more than the standard shell, the um, premium shell is 4400 credits and the standard shell I think is 1100 or so to get another penetration there on the 295 so just under 2k damage now 
as we said in the earlier part of the review, the DPM is around 2400, so yeah, nothing special here with the um, with the output of the gun. You're really only getting well, you're getting just under 400 average, but um, only every nine and a half seconds at the most. So you are going to miss some opportunities with that reload time. All right, finally the T95 goes down. And the artillery is taking a bit of a toll on the, um, the remaining tanks there. So just trying to make a decision as to when to push up. So in terms of the game, we've got a significant lead in hit points. Uh, the same number of guns in the game. Anyway, so it is time to turn up. In fact, the uh, even more health taken out of those two tanks. So just trying to keep as far to the um, right as possible. I certainly don't want to get into the water though. Um, the it will drown in this spot. There's no chance to get out. speculative shot of the teenage but uh, that bounces off. Let's wait to reload before we come around and we'll get a kill shot. So that's fine, that gives us 2.3k. And now we're just waiting for the inevitable arty shot to come in. Which doesn't seem to have happened so that's good. Spotted. In fact, there's the Tiger 2. So, Tiger 2, pretty sure that's AFK. So, we're trying to deal with him partly the farm damage, which everyone likes to have, but he's also spotting us, and that's one of the reasons that we're getting caught by the Amex 5120, which I'm not really appreciating. So, we're trying to get rid of this Tiger 2 as quickly as possible. letting us bring our damage total up, so hitting 3k now, and we've got a thousand of assisted damage. And then finally the kill. So 10-5 now, so I think this game is definitely a win. And we're moving up here as fast as we can, we're just under 30ks. Let's see if we can get a shot on that brass. No, I don't know where that one went. So again, just don't worry about which way the turret's pointing because it's, it's not showing the right uh, angles there. So in some views it's actually pointing the right way and then other views it's um, pointing down, so I can't really explain that. It's a, definitely a replay bug. So only a couple of tanks left now. Artie and the Leopard one and the T28 prototype and so I'll just have to stop here. You can see the bloom and it's not really great for snapshotting. So even with vertical stabilizer, um, so it does pay to aim in. I do get one more damaging shot. And then let's see if we can get anything out of this T28 prototype. So just take a chance and fire through the window but um, yeah no noise about if that hit or not. So that's basically the game, um, just under 4k of damage and 1.1 assisted. Okay, so this is the results from that battle. We got a second class uh, mastery badge there and the Confederate reward. Um, 105,000 credits, which we'll show you the breakdown of. Uh, 21k of experience, that was 20k of um, uh, missions. So it was 1500 I think is the um, actual experience. That wasn't the first win. Um, but you can see here that you get bonds. So just about every game, if not every game, you get bonds. Um, I think the minimum amounts of three bonds. And this gave us five bonds. Uh, damaged quite a few tanks there. So let's have a look at the total. So we've got 1053 base experience, uh, which is nice, and we know with 4.3k of damage, so there were some blind shots that hit there, or at least one, I would say. Um, but uh, not quite the t highest 
damage total there, the um, ICU-152K, you ended up with 1393. Um, so we fired 26 shots and got 17 hits out of that, and of those, only 13 penned, and it was nearly all um, premium ammunition, so we spent 94K on ammunition and a bit on repairs from the damage that we picked up. So even though we earned 105,000 credits, we only made 1,400 in total. Um, so yeah, now we were, I don't think in any da in any battle that we were top tier. Um, so yeah, just you're gonna have to spend money on on ammunition on that. So not a great credit earner. It is a premium tank. It does have lower repair costs than perhaps some of the other uh, tier nine tanks. So it's definitely slightly better than the reward tanks, but uh, you are paying the price to stay in battle and, and get the best results. Um, so it's overall you will gradually earn credits, but uh, you'll certainly earn bonds faster um, than maybe in your tier 10s, because um, you seem to be getting bonds in every every battle. Um, so overall, would I recommend this tank? Um, well, as you can see, it's pretty much a second line heavy tank. Uh, so if that's your style of play and you don't mind playing a reasonable fast heavy tank, but one without a lot of armor, um, then it might suit you. It's certainly not an overpowered premium tank, so I wouldn't be too worried about the um, the uh, uh, the nature of that. There are some of the reward vehicles at Tier 9 are better tanks than this, particularly in terms of armor performance. Um, so would I buy it? No, I will consider it, but probably not. Um, but I wouldn't stop you from buying it. So I'll let you make your own mind up. Um, so make sure you have a look at some other reviews and some other gameplay and see what you, th you think. Um, said I can't tell you the price at this point because we're making this video before the release date and we don't have that information. But otherwise you can see all of the characteristics of the tank here. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. We'll have better content for you through the week and thanks for watching.